Come on, City. That really wasn't pretty, was it? I hate you, City. I really do. Stop doing that to me, man. I know the job isn't over yet, but 2-1 on the night. That that will do for now. That will do, and I'll never get bored of seeing Foden score in a Champions League quarterfinal. It wasn't perfect. It wasn't uh, wonderful. Um, i tell you what is, though. One football, that's a link for you. One football is absolutely awesome. If you want to help support my channel a little bit and get all the up-to-date Manchester City information and all the stats and all the news from around the world of football and all the transfer news, maybe even a link to, to, to Haaland, maybe pop up on your phone one day. Either way, if you want to get all that stuff, get over to One Football right now in the link in the description below and download it and get up to date with all the Manchester City news. And it helps support my channel a little bit, which is absolutely awesome. Go and download it right now. Get all your Manchester City news sent straight to your phone and do what every... Um, Every same football fan should do, you know. It's free, and over 10 million people use it for a reason. Download it right now. But that performance, um, there's so much to talk about. I'll go through the structure at the bottom as per usual. Uh, there's no denying that the start of this game, and I'll get onto the overall thoughts in a bit. The start of this game, um, this was a big one for Manchester City because of the obvious record that Manchester City have in the Champions League. It's been much documented. We aren't good in this competition when it gets to this stage. And so far, um, there's been reasons to believe that maybe Manchester City could have been different in the Champions League given the fact that we've been excellent in all the previous games. Um, but it was uh, a big game. There was definitely pressure on this going into it. It was nice to see at the start of the game, Guardiola going with a very strong lineup. Honestly, he went for a lineup that pretty much no one complained about. The reputation in this competition is of Guardiola overthinking it, trying things that are a little bit too complicated, and in any, if anything, maybe paying too much respect to their opponents. I don't know how much that would have... Um, Played into his mind after what he saw tonight, by the way, for the second leg, because we weren't perfect tonight. But it was nice to see Guardiola just going through what is maybe our strongest team at the moment. No faffing about. Back to the false nine that worked so well against Munch and Gladbach. And just a very strong Manchester City side. And we went out uh, with intention uh, to kind of carry on as we've been doing recently, which is definitely not a bad thing for me. The first half was a weird one. City, um, of course, scored a lovely goal. Kevin De Bruyne being absolutely spectacular, as he always is, Kevin De Bruyne. Um... Driving through the heart of midfield, uh, which led to an attack involving Foden and Mares and De Bruyne slotting it into the bottom corner. Um, lovely from Kevin De Bruyne, as he always is. We got a weird penalty, which then was later rescinded. The right call. A bit weird from Rodri, to be honest. He definitely wasn't a foul, in my personal opinion. And we got very lucky. We massively, massively got let off the hook um, when Bellingham scored a legitimate goal with Edison was faffing about. Edison, what were you doing, mate? Wake up. Either way, we got off the hook there. And we were very, very, very lucky. But I'm not going to complain because Manchester City, I'm sorry, we deserve a little bit of luck in the Champions League. We never get any luck like that. We've had some terrible refereeing decisions. And finally, it's come back round in our favour. So I will take it personally. Um... But I was happy um, just to see City obviously be 1-0 up. Uh, it was a weird game of football in that first half, and there was a few mistakes as well. Um, but it wasn't a terrible half, just not a particularly good half, I would say. The second half was strange. City got a little bit better. Um, Haaland absolutely bullied, bullied Diaz at one point. Genuinely did. He sat him down and missed the City. Edison making up for his first half mistake with a big, big save. And then, to be honest, it, the game kind of played itself out, and City got more and more into it. And it looked increasingly likely that we we're going to score a second goal. Foden was absolutely tearing their fullback to pieces. He was fantastic down the left-hand side. But all the chances kept falling to him and he kept missing them frustratingly. Um, and he has to do better in front of goal. Uh, obviously, we'll get to that in a second. And then it did cost us, as we knew it would. Um, and it wasn't Haaland who scored. Though Haaland got the assist with a lovely ball to Roos, who fired it into the bottom corner. And it was heartbreaking to concede a goal that late on, given the fact that City had been that good throughout the either Well, not that good. Had been that likely to score a second goal at that moment. Um, we weren't playing well, but it looks like we're going to do enough to keep a clean sheet and grind out a victory and not give away that crucial away goal. But... The best thing is, we bounce back. Genuinely a fantastic response. Once again, a sensational Kevin De Bruyne, Kevin De Bruyne ball deep to Gundogan, who pulled it back for Foden to get the goal he deserved on the night. Genuinely, Foden deserved that goal. And I tell you what, that felt absolutely lovely. Individually, Edison had such a mixed bag, a big save. Um, but he also got very lucky, absolutely messing about, even being honest, where he should have given a goal away against Bellingham. If anything, he fouled Bellingham, but got away with it. Don't know what he was doing. Walker was a mixed bag as well. Some moments of good defending, some moments of hesitancy and Stones was possibly the least hesitant defender I would say Stones was okay um Diaz 
even caught the yips a little bit as well. He looked a little bit nervous, and at one point he was bullied by D uh, Haaland, unfortunately. There's no shame in that Haaland. It is absolutely massive. I'm sorry, the size of Haaland next to Diaz. Silly. Diaz is a massive guy, but Haaland dwarfed him. A ridiculous freaking age of Haaland, and it, uh, I saw enough tonight to suggest that generally I do want him to come. Either way, it wasn't a great performance from Diaz. Not a disaster, but not, not his high standard best. Didn't matter in the end, though. Um, and Cancelo... Probably similar to the rest of him, not perfect either. Uh, Rodri, like the rest of the defenders, um, had an iffy-ish game as well, I would say. Gave the ball away a couple of times really poorly in his own half. Not at his usual dominant best. Kevin De Bruyne was easily the pick of Manchester City players, in my personal opinion. His desire, his work rate, his energy, the quality, man. He felt like he was single-handedly trying to win as the game at times. So much commitment, so much quality. That's the thing about De Bruyne. It was pure, like... 100% pure quality. Everything he did just reeked excellence, but that's Kevin De Bruyne for you. Um, a pre-assist, probably should have had an assist or two because people were missing chances that he created for him. Uh, he was involved in everything we did good tonight and Kevin De Bruyne was absolutely sensational, a world-class player. Uh, Gundogan was a little bit quiet, but he got his assist at the end. Um, I wanted to see a little bit more from Gundogan tonight. I felt he did disappear a tiny bit, but he got his assist for Foden with a lovely calm touch. Foden, I thought, was our best after... Um, De Bruyne. He did miss a sitter at one point, but he kept going and kept going and kept going. And some of his footwork tonight, he's such a technically elegant footballer, Phil Foden. Watching him is like watching poetry. Honestly, the way he glides past players, and if he'd scored maybe another chance, we'd be sat here talking about a genuinely great English uh, winger performance in the Champions League. He was that high quality tonight. Um, but maybe he let himself down with some poor finishing. But either way, Foden was brilliant. Uh, and we know he's brilliant. And he gets better and better. And he's making that left wing spot his own. Bernardo, I thought, toiled, but didn't really get involved in the game either. I love Bernardo, but it was uh, the right call talking for Gabriel Jesus, who had a really... Um, effective running session, I would say, for Jesus. Um, Mares was okay on the right, but once again, couldn't get involved in the way that Gundogan couldn't. Overall, it was not a classic, but it didn't really have to be a classic. It's literally only half-time in this tie tonight, and it was a little bit frustrating to see that Manchester City do have those nerves still. They are clearly there. I don't know what causes them, but there is something in the back of our minds that does put the fear amongst these players, and we do have to find a way to maybe just get through this game. If we can get through the second leg, um, even without playing well, uh, it will do this team a world of good because I do think Manchester City go against teams like Dortmund because of what's happened against Monaco and Spurs and Leon and so on I do think we see these teams and we get scared for whatever reason and people who don't usually make mistakes like Edison or whatever start doing silly things um and you see this Manchester City side get caught up in their own heads. We need to find a way to get past that. Maybe it's just scraping past Dortmund. Because once we played like Real Madrid last season, we were fine. And that wasn't even a difficult game for us. We were up for the big game. And I've got no doubt we'll be up for a big game if we get through to the next round as well against PSG or Bayern. We might not beat them, but we'll definitely be up for it. I don't think the nerds will be there in the same way. It's just something about this level. There's definitely a mental block and we have to find a way to get past it. But at the end of the day, it isn't the end of the world. We won 2-1 on the night. Yes, they've scored but they deserve a goal, so I can't complain. But we are going uh, to the away leg, uh, knowing that an away goal is disastrous for them. It makes it 3-1 on the night, and they have to score a couple of goals, and that is going to be difficult against this Manchester City side, even if we do play with a fear amongst us every now and then. Um, it's a good result on the night. It's not an excellent result, but it doesn't always have to be perfect, and we need to look at the bigger picture and remember that. This City side um, are a very good side. Guardiola got nothing wrong tonight, by the way. Genuinely, I can't complain about anything he did wrong wrong tonight honestly it was a good strong 11 it really was there is some issues there still with that commitment not the commitment it's not that it's obviously a mental block but certain players like Foden had no fear Kevin De Bruyne had no fear but it did feel like some of the other players are caught up in the head a little bit we have to find a way to get past that I'm sure Guardiola were trying his best because Guardiola did his bit tonight and it's on the players after that but either way this was um, a step in the right direction we beat them without playing well and sometimes that is just enough because that can be demoralising for your opponents um, keep your calm City fans you know keep your composure because City are a very good side and we are in a very good position going into the second leg yes they've got an away goal but I do fancy us to score uh, at their ground I do fancy to score there so feel confident City guys thank you so much for watching this video thank you so much to all the patrons and Ahmed Adali in particular my patron producer let me know down in the comments how you're feeling about this um, it was a weird night a weird night not a perfect night with some mistakes and we got off the hook a little bit but we were due a referee performance like that I will be live uh, if you're watching this right now I'll be live at 11 o'clock-ish 
um, doing the fan view video. Go and check that out afterwards as well, of course, if you want to have your say, become a member as well. YouTube.com forward slash it's team company forward slash joy. For now, though, it wasn't a classic. It wasn't pretty, but we got the job done. Come on, City. <laughs>